Today I have a pretty wide range, like random fall haul for you guys. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I found some more exciting things from Hobby Lobby. I also have Ross stuff. I'm gonna share some like random little thrifted finds and a really adorable Shein haul. So let me show you guys what I got. Let's start off with Hobby Lobby because there's only two things in here. If you watched one of my last videos, then you saw these glasses. They're supposed to be a dupe to anthropology. And I had hauled the Christmas trees and I said, if I find the other ones, I'm gonna go return one of the Christmas tree glasses. And I did, I finally, well, I haven't returned the, the glass yet, but so I just found them this morning, but I found the Santa hat. They're like the icon glasses is what they're called at Anthropology, And I don't know if they're like the creator of these icon glasses. If they are and you know, comment down below. But I feel like these have been around for a really long time. But anyways, so I'm adding to my Christmas collection with the Santa hats. And then I found the one that I really wanted. And that was the candy canes. So let me show you guys that one. I mean, the candy canes are just perfection. They're a lot prettier in person because these little pieces actually stick out of the glass. You can feel it. So, and all the glasses are very unique and different. Like they are not, I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom, this one's thicker than that one. Like they're, it's obviously like blown glass. So they're all gonna be very just unique. And I love that about them. So I was super excited to find the collection. I did not find the Christmas wreath. So I know Hobby Lobby has that as well. So the Christmas wreath, the Christmas tree, the Santa hat, the candy canes. I want to say the person that I originally saw haul these and say that they were at Hobby Lobby, I thought there was a gingerbread option. From the looks of it, it's sold out online, but definitely check and see if that's different for you. Um, but yeah, each glass was $14.98, but Christmas was 50% off. So I spent a total of $16, or I spent a total of $14.98 for both of them um, with tax of like 16. So that's it, that's all I wanted to do. I literally ran in there this morning just to see if they restocked and they did. So I was really excited. Okay, now let me show you guys. Actually, I forgot, I have TJ Maxx as well. So from TJ Maxx, I spent $11.99. However, looking at it right here, the same exact four pack on Amazon, it's $13.29. I don't know what this runs at like Target or Walmart, but I feel like $11.99 seems to clearly be lower than even Amazon, which is really great, but maybe the price will drop because I know Amazon's about to do their um, prime stuff, but I thought orange obviously is really cute for a boo basket. So I'm gonna put this in Micah's boo basket. I think I pretty much have everything for her. Um, and I also got this body exfoliator. It's blue, it's fun. I love body exfoliators. They're actually really good for you. This one was $3.99. And then I, brace yourselves for this. I found eye candy under eye masks and these are the candy corn version. These were $3.99, but here's what I wanna say about this. This Spa Life brand, I believe they did eye patches and we found them at Dollar Tree. I just wish we would have gotten this drop right here at Dollar Tree. <sighs> this next piece, I've been dying to share it with you guys. Um, and I thought it'd be perfect in this haul, but it is this beautiful cashmere sweater. I got it in brown. It actually comes in multiple colors. This is by the brand Quince. I'm actually wearing the uh, cashmere like cardigan button. It's just, ugh. I live in this thing because the quality of it is truly like any, unlike anything I honestly have in my closet. And now I have this piece, which I just felt like I truly needed a really beautiful cashmere 
like cable knit sweater. So today's video is sponsored by Quince. Thank you so much for sponsoring me once again. The, the pieces that I hauled last time. So this is one of them. I also have this like ribbed white tank, which I actually wore the other day. Beautiful. It just wears so well on my body. I love the material too. It's really, <laughs> it's really standing so much apart from anything I have in my closet because when I put it on, it feels so good on my skin. Like the most luxury pieces I honestly own. And that's actually their mission is to provide luxury items to you without you having to sacrifice in that cost. Their value is that they think that everyone should be able to afford high quality items and that you shouldn't have to sacrifice on luxury, which I completely agree with. You guys know me, I can always stand behind a company where they have values and they care and they want to be able to provide something to you and that is quince 100 all the way and their products i'm telling you it's like butter it's just the best and i got this one so i'm very excited to add this little cable knit you guys know i'm like super sporty like this one right here i'm wearing with just like a black top and leggings i've got on my hat as usual and i'll throw on my tennis shoes this one i'm gonna be able to style so many different ways and especially if you're like me and you're in this a southern state and you just don't get very many fall days until a much later in the end of the year but this i can always throw around my waist and especially because like it's hot outside but most of the time i'm inside like whether i'm going in shopping or running errands or going out to eat or doing any of those things i'll just wrap this around my waist it'll be so beautiful and then when i'm inside i can just throw this on also i feel like this piece is a staple classic you can really do a big variety of different looks and outfits with this it would look simply classic and gorgeous with a pair of jeans you know and just whatever shoes that you love to wear i mean this really is one of those like perfect cable knit sweaters you can also pair it with a skirt and shorts and then add the tights i know tights are super trending right now like this is a beautiful brown you could do a brown tight you can also layer this and throw this on over a button up and over leggings like there's just so many different outfits you can create from this um, so I absolutely love this one. I will link this one down below. I'll also link the other pieces that I have as well. Like this one, I'm telling you, I live in this thing. I also know that Quince has like sheets and bedding, which I'm very excited to kind of like dive into. So upgrade your closet with Quince. Go to quince.com slash crafty girl for free shipping on your order. And you're going to get 365 day return. 365 days. You have 365 days to return if you don't like it. But I can't see myself parting with these items because once you get them on, you'll just see. All right, now let me show you guys what I picked up from Ross. I went in there with Micah and my mom. So this next item, like if you know me, you'll just know. By the way, I spent a subtotal of $86.94 at Ross. But if you know me, you know like this is not something I would normally pick up. Like I just don't really do spiders. Um, this was $12.99 though, and Micah, <laughs> Micah really loved it. So I got it as a candy bowl that I'm thinking I'm probably going to put in the media room. However, my media room is going to have cats. So knowing how anal I am, I might like move this around and put this somewhere else. But anyways, that was like the idea and we'll see if that happens. Uh, then I got these premium chocolate molds. This was $2.99, but I actually got them to make ice cubes with. I see a lot of people have like the cutest little ice cube tray molds and Dollar Tree actually sells a bunch of them too. Um, but the pumpkin ones are absolutely adorable. So I got it for that. I've even seen people like brew coffee and they pour coffee in here and make coffee molds and then they put that into their coffee, which is a really great idea. So... I want to pour some ginger ale into mine and freeze some ginger ale ones. So there's that. Um, then I picked up, I went into um, 
the men's section i like a lot of like oversized things so that's a really great section by the way and this is a the dockers brand $7.99 for just this plain black shirt it has a pocket right here in the front and again i i went with a large just to like oversize i just like wearing stuff like this over shorts and leggings and blacks my thing so i got that then i found this shirt which is a tommy hill figure this is a large um kind of has like a dry fit uh, spandexy type material i would have preferred more of like a cotton base um but there's the little classic flag and um this was i don't even know how much this was this was $14.99 but again, I went with like a classic khaki because I, I love my, my time capsule type wardrobe. And then I found this um, sweatshirt. Look how cute that is. I just thought it was like a really good one. I like the trim and just all the stitching detail. I like that it's black lettering. I don't have this like salmon peachy pink color and anything in my wardrobe so but that black is honestly what got me so the fact that it had the black text I was like okay i can make that work with you know a couple of other outfits and this was 24.99 but it says that originally it was 60 dollars. like here's the tag right here from adidas so i feel like i got a great price on that so that's it from ross and then i'll show you guys some of my like random little finds i ordered this nike shirt off of ebay and i have been wanting a nike shirt like this i'll throw up a picture if i can find it but there was a pinterest photo that kind of inspired me for this look and so i was looking for something i think this might be like the exact shirt she's wearing in there she's wearing this with jeans and like a blazer and i was like yes that which i have a blazer from quince and i think it would actually be perfect it's like a linen blazer and so i got this just nike shirt and it's just perfect i like it i don't know if it's a little big this was an xl sometimes i'm like mm, that that large uh, i don't know this one might just be i'm i'm gonna have to like try to shrink it i think for sure because it's looking it's looking nightgown on me but let me just stand up oh yeah that's like a little too big this next item i thrifted and i am just simply too afraid to tell you guys what i paid for it but it is a very rare <laughs> um, strawberry shortcake coloring book. This is the Big Apple version. It's never been colored in. It's so old, like the pages I think um, turned this like yellow color. I can't believe like, I don't know, maybe they were originally this color in the 80s, but it's never been colored in. It's literally in mint condition. It's never been used all the pages are in here but now that it's here i will thoroughly enjoy it i but comment should i use it what do you guys think should i use it should i just kind of display it in my craft room like maybe frame it i don't know i i'm leaning towards using it let me flip through and show you guys some of these pages super darling you've got like honestly the whole gang and it's a multi like it's an activity okay look at this little and it's like big apple she goes to new york i believe is probably the theme of this and here's this one you're welcome to just like pause on the screen but yeah comment let me know do you guys think i should use it um which would mean a combination of things. It would mean I would color in it, but I would also tear away from it and use it in junk journaling. But like, look at this piece. You can see that it bled through in print or maybe because the book was pressed together for so long that this, this is what transferred over, by the way. This transferred over to this area. Um, 
Yeah, look how cute. That one could look really pretty, like super colorful, like Candyland. But I'm just healing my inner child. That's all. I mean, it's just really sweet little pages. I'm just worried about the quality of the page because how long it's just honestly been around. I really do feel like if I were to use it, I have to be so incredibly delicate. I don't even think a marker, I think a marker would be too harsh and it might like tear the page. All right, now I have my Shein haul. So obviously it's gonna be like an unboxing and review of sorts. So the first thing is this like sweatshirt. It's like a sporty sweatshirt. I saw it, I thought it looked really cute. Something about it was just like, I don't know, I really liked it. It's not just an average like gray, you know, pullover. It has this really pretty lace detail and that's what makes it just stand out. And the lace detail is not like sewn straight on. I actually really like that. I feel like it'll probably last much better. Um, so I don't know what size, oh, XL. And it is this brand right here, this Daisy brand. I really like this one um, from them. But yeah, I just thought it had that me factor with the sweatshirt look, but it gives this little detail. It goes all the way down the sleeve. It's on both sides and that's it. It's not anywhere else on the sweatshirt. It just goes down the sides. And I thought that was really pretty. Okay, then I got, I don't even know what this is. Oh, I started looking at some stuff for Micah as well. You know, I I am definitely, like I plan months in advance to anything. That's just how my brain functions. I do so much better that way as well. When I wait till the last minute, it just, I don't feel good at all. So I started thinking about, you know, just some like pickups for her birthday, which is in December. Yeah, they've got this little like lace trim detail and then the little, I don't know what you call this like method, not snaps, but you know what I mean? And I don't know, I don't know if she'll like it. I also got it in white. Yeah, is that this one? Yeah, let me show you what white looks like just in case you're interested but I just thought both colors were really sweet. I thought that they would just pair really well with a bunch of things. You can never go wrong with some like good neutral colors, but so that's super pretty. We'll see, I don't know. All right, then I got another piece from Glow Mode. This is like one of their active lines. And if you didn't see my last haul, I got the skirt of this, but I tr I thought that I looked for the top. I couldn't find it. Maybe it came out later or restocked later, but I got the matching sports bra to that skirt, which this is like a straight dupe for aloe yoga. Um, so, and I can tell you, I'm really pleased with the quality and this is navy. And it has this like little white detail. It's the exact same detail that's in the skirt. And that's it for clothing. But uh, what I really wanted to dive into on their website were charms. You know, all the rage with like the purse charms and stuff. So I was looking at some of that. I did get some like random stationary finds. So I got these really cute like um, postcard looking vintage things. I mean, it's just so pretty. Like how do they come up with these images? Like it's just, I absolutely love it. This is like one of my favorites. I see this one around a lot, but if you ordered like my blind date with a book, I'll be throwing in a lot of these goodies in there. So I am packing those orders with a lot. So there's that. Um, all right, so here are some of the charms that I found and they are so adorable. So of course I had to look at my little pony and I found this one. Oh my gosh, it is so charming. And look, it even has like this little, I forget this like O-ring. I, I think that's like, I forget the official name for this type, but like you string it across your bag 
and then it has this like big charm and it has like water and it has all the little sequins in it so and then the charms are just so cute it looks like literal popcorn and then like dripping cakes it's definitely got a food like theme so i got it in this really cute yellow one and then they were all so adorable that i got every color they had so here's what the pink one looks like oh my gosh just look at the packaging I believe that My Little Pony and Shein collabed, so um, you can find quite a bit with that. And then here is, oops, I removed that, I didn't mean to. Um, this one, hang on, goes over here. But yeah, so here's what this looks like. Like if you would just, if you were to just string it across your purse, it would look like this, that's why I'm doing that. And then here's the little charm. I think that's Pinkie Pie. And then the little charms are so cute. It's like a little watermelon. And there's colorful popcorn on this one and cute little hearts. Um, who is the yellow? I forget who this girl is. I don't want to say Apple Jacks, but I forget who that is. Um, I believe I got another one, yeah. So purple is me, which Micah and I took the My Little Pony test back when she was little, and Micah was Pinkie Pie and I was Twilight Sparkle. I still remember that till this day. So here's what purple looks like. I'm just gonna keep the purple one on here, but yeah, it has like a cute little, Oh my gosh, that's so adorable and so fun. And even if like I get tired of using it as a purse charm, I can use it as junk journaling charms. Um, okay, then I got some Care Bear stuff because I'm heavy on it. I'm heavy on the Care Bears. I think that's probably been pretty obvious lately. And I got these pack of keychains, little acrylic keychains, and you get all the little bears, the classic bears, I guess you could say. And then there's those two. So I got those. Here's another Care Bear collab with Shein. Um, they're also doing a collab as well as Strawberry Shortcake too. So I got these little pack of stickers. Um, now the Care Bears in here definitely look like an updated modern version of them. You can just tell by their faces. It has, it's, yeah, it's just not the original guys, obviously. Um, so I found that to be interesting that, you know, we didn't necessarily get that in the stickers, but it's still really adorable nonetheless. You get a lot of tiny little pieces. They're kind of falling, falling everywhere. Like this little bear is so cute. Yeah, there's just a ton of pieces. It's really hard to show stickers unless you do like an overhead shot. Um, so anyways, I was excited to get those. And then I also, did I get any more? Yeah. Then I got this Care Bear one and I've actually seen quite a few people with this one as a purse charm and I was wondering where they had gotten it from and now I know the answer. Um, well, I mean, it could have been, I guess, sold anywhere else as well, but look how cute the little plush and then it has like this tag and then the little acrylic charm and this little like rainbow heart that is so freaking adorable i wish there had been other color options maybe there are but i only found that one um then i found this care bear charm and it's a lot smaller on in scale on scale but you know especially if you love smaller things i love the yellow care bears probably sunshine bear i believe that's his name i that's my favorite so, and then you get the classic heart that says Care Bear on there. And then the yellow puff ball. So freaking cute, like look at those. Um, I think that might've been it for Care Bears. I also got another packaging, the same, like I guess I got two of those. And then I got another thing of um, vintage papers. I'll just like, and they're like a little, booklet and you just tear out 
whichever little, you know, one that you like. So it just has a lot of like vintage prints, which I really find myself always gravitating towards. Then I got this little keychain set to add as like additional layers to my purse charm. I obviously want to build a set that's like a little bit more chic and not as colorful. I want one with a lot of black. And so I saw the black dice. I thought that was really cute. So, you know, just like adding it to like my Nike purse. I don't know, let's see. I mean, I can't do it right now, but you know, even to like a little bum bag, I won't, you know, I won't do anything across it, but I could add a little something to the side, which I think would be darling. But I also got it in pink dice as well. The pink dice is interesting because they give you a much better clip. Um, than the black one, but the pink dice, they give you this little clip. Was it the same or? No, it's different. This is like the keychain ring. Oh, that's, that's so hard unless you get another clip to then, you know, like, but this would be so easy to add to anything. But I got those. Then I got these cute little stickers. I don't know, I'll try to throw up a picture or something of them. Or let me just like take them out actually and try to show you a few. They're just like really random, but fun, colorful, kind of whimsical. Yeah, they just have like a lot of hearts. It's really adorable. Excuse my nails. I need to go get my nails done. But that one's on the couch. That's so cool. So I got those. Then I picked up these stickers, which I've already forgotten what they are. I think they might be like a little bit more retro. Yeah, they have this like, that game look, you know, with all the, that's a carousel, super cute, oops. Just a bunch of fun popsicles, the pill, the ramen. Yeah, it just has that like, looks like an Atari game kind of thing. I just thought these stickers were really cute. So I got those. And then I got this pack of vintage papers. I'll open these up as well. So look at those strawberries out front. Yes. I believe it's like vintage news clippings or kind of of like these fruits, but so cute. And then I got some vintage stickers. These are some of my favorites. They're like, my favorite vintage artists or whoever did these, the ones that like back in the day, they used to be Valentine's Day cards. Ugh, what a time to have been alive for these. Like, so jealous. Cause they are so freaking like, why don't we do this anymore? Why? Like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, it just makes me really sad. But all right, so I got those. And then I got another little keychain set. This one reminded me of Micah, so I wanted to get it. Micah, I don't think is into the charm thing, or maybe she will be, but I got Scooby-Doo. And he's got a little bone and some cute little trinkets. And then the little clip. That'll be super easy to like add to a purse. And then like if I wanted to start layering, look, I could add the little dice. You know, you just start adding your little charms and they'll look really cute. And the last charm they have in multiple colors, but I thought yellow was the cutest of them all. Um, but the other ones are pretty precious. But this yellow one just freaking got me. Like, look, wait, how do, what is he? Oh wait, here he is. He's got his sunglasses on, his little hat. And those are his arms right here, these little, Pom-poms are his arms, those are his legs. That's his hat. And then his little 
trinkets it says forever and that's my haul for today i hope you guys enjoy thank you to quince for sponsoring today's video as well don't forget to go to quince.com slash crafty girl to get free shipping on your order plus you're going to get that 365 day return you have a whole 365 days to return if you don't like it and that's going to be it for today i'll see you guys next time bye